Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and welcome to one of my favorite videos to film because when I film this video, it means that we are headed to Walt Disney World. So welcome to the Disney Pack and Prep with me. I am energized, I am excited, I am happy, I am joyous, I am quite literally every single emotion that you can imagine because we, we meaning my fiance and I just need a break we need a vacation we need the disney magic also i looked quite literally like a football player right there but we are just so ready we're excited to get back to the magic and get back to orlando and go to disney we are just so unbelievably excited and welcome to the pack and prep with me these are some of my favorite videos and vlogs to film on youtube i feel like i give a lot of tips and tricks i enjoy just sharing with you guys my packing tips disney tips what i bring i love watching these kinds of videos and vlogs too because i Feel like I learn a lot so comment down below one of your favorite Disney packing essentials Disney vacation items or whatever it might be that you love to pack and prep when you're heading to Walt Disney World so what are we gonna get up to in this video? I'm gonna share with you my Disney packing list. I'm also gonna share with you my Disney outfit planning and the way that I kind of plan out my outfits and the way that I pack. I'm gonna share with you our Target haul, like the pre-trip Target haul, everything that we get when we are traveling that we normally buy like the day or two before. And then I'm also gonna share with you my entire packing process, how I pack and all the little nuance details. It is Thursday after work. I took tomorrow off, so I'm off Friday and then into the entire next week, so we will be packing and prepping for the majority of tomorrow all day together and I'm excited and so grateful that I took the full day off especially with vlogging and working a corporate job it's nice to be able to have a full day that's dedicated to packing and vlogging and not feeling overwhelmed and chaotic because I tend to pack like that sometimes so Without further ado, if you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, give the video a big thumbs up, and turn on your post notification bell so that you never miss any of the Disney vlogs. My plan is to have two to three Disney vlogs uploaded a week once we are back, so we are going to Disney World for nine days, eight nights. We're staying at a new deluxe resort and we vlog every single day of our trip. I'm also going to be doing a Disney Q&A so make sure to follow me over on Instagram as well where I'll be posting in like real time and you'll be able to see the story highlights and whatnot and I'm just I'm so giddy. If you've seen my last video if you are not new around here you know that we've had a really crazy last two months and 2024 did not start off well and so the idea of getting to go to Disney World and just be so excited and energized to go on vacation and go to our happy place just makes me so unbelievably happy and my heart just feels like so full so beyond full so without further ado let's get into the video so the first part of this video is gonna all be about my pre trip to do so this is a list that I have on my phone that as I do things throughout the week and the days leading up to the trip this is my list that I literally live and die for it's just like little bullets of things that I want to do or things I need to do before we actually go on our trip so I'm gonna go ahead and share this up on the screen here I just pulled it up on my phone we'll kind of go through the things together so first and foremost this is specifically Disney I do have one for when we travel like internationally or on a different kind of vacation but for today's purpose right we're talking all about my Disney pre-trip to do's so first is packing so my to do's are pack our suitcase pack the backpack and put air tags in our luggage my number one tip is to have air tags in your luggage I feel so relieved when I get on the airplane and I can sit in my seat and track my luggage and I can see that it is right underneath me. It is a game changer. It is by far one of the best things that Corey and I have ever purchased for our luggages. I know they're an investment, but I love them. Next we go into cleaning. So every time before we leave, I always like to deep clean our bedroom, the office, and the bathroom. I vacuum, I change our sheets, I wipe down our desks, I wipe down the toilet, the sink, just so that we come home to a really clean house that's not chaotic on top of when we're trying to unpack from Disney. So I always like to make sure that I have our space nice and clean and nice and fresh. And then next we get into self-care. So we do the shower, right? Like the hair wash, the shave, the exfoliating, the deep skin care, all the things and we do my manicure and my pedicure I actually did my pedicure like a week ago or two weeks ago so I do have my manicure tomorrow so we'll do that together as well next is my electronics so I always clear my memory cards and charge all five of my camera batteries so that they are at full capacity and I always keep some extra batteries like in some park bags and in little ziplocs that way if a battery ever dies and I didn't get a chance to charge it I always have some backups and then my Disney specifics are buy my final gift cards pack my gift cards in a personal bag 
I left my gift cards at home last year on our September trip and I had over like a thousand dollars of gift cards and I was so disappointed. So I wrote that as a to-do so I never forget it again. Make sure to pack our resort mugs, our water park mugs, our popcorn buckets, our reusable straws, and our pins for trading. This trip we are not bringing our resort mugs or our popcorn bucket because we want to get the new popcorn bucket and the new resort mugs. But that is my pre-Disney trip to-dos. I feel like it is so important to have even just everything broken out into little things I can click those things off as I go and it's just always really nice to have it on my phone listed out and ready to go so that is the pre Disney trip to do's that I always live and breathe and die for so now let's get into the Disney travel packing list this is something that I always physically hand write I found that I am someone who just really enjoys handwriting out my packing list I do think that electronic is great I think there's nothing wrong with doing things electronically I am someone that likes to you'll see my method I like to highlight and then I like to cross out it's almost like a double check off like for example when I pack my shampoo and conditioner in the bag I highlight it and then when I do my final once over I cross it out in a black marker so that I just have it right there and I never have to worry so lots of rambling welcome to the chatty pack and prep with me vlog this is going to be super chatty but let's get into the travel packing list so let's start with my toiletries one of my tips that I have when it comes to traveling even if it's Disney or not Disney whatever have you the way that I write out my toiletries and the items that I need cosmetically is actually how I would start my morning. So for example, when I get in the shower, shampoo, conditioner, then I body wash, right? Shave, all that stuff. My skincare, I just go in the order that I actually do it. I walk through my morning routine and write my list that way so I'm never missing anything and I don't forget. So let's dive into it. First on the toiletry list is shampoo and conditioner. Disney does have their H2O products or some sort of a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in their hotels because I am on my I say curly hair journey as it's pin straight but I am trying to work on my hair health so I will bring a little bit of my travel size special shampoo and conditioner I always bring a hair mask as well just to make sure that my hair is nice and nourished and then I have a loofah shaving cream and a razor along with my face wash and exfoliator I do try to exfoliate twice at Disney just with like the sunscreen the heat la layering makeup on all the time I just like to make sure that I have everything that I need and just making sure that my skin is nice and clean I also bring both of my face serums, my Caudalie like elixir serum, along with my drunk elephant hydration serum, along with my face lotion and my face sunscreen, my drunk elephant debronzing drops, my cleansing balm. The cleansing balm is like the first layer that will get all the makeup off and then I wash my face so I really like to have that as well. Next is my Sephora minis. I always kind of accumulate little Sephora minis as the year goes on and then I save them for when I travel so I need a few of those to pack. And then my mousse, my curl cream and my gel for my slick back buns or my curly hair my towel wrap which I use to dry my hair when I get out of the shower and also scrunch my hair when it is curly next is my toothbrush and my toothpaste mouthwash and floss so I need to get those things as well body lotion because when you're in the sun and you're getting like kissed by the sun you need to make sure your skin is nice and hydrated next is perfume and deodorant because can't go without that and then I have hair ties pins and scrunchies along with my hair clips and bobby pins as well the reason is is I just like to make sure I have all the different kinds of hair things that I might need throughout the day I've been really loving the gimme hair ties right now I have one in my hair today and I am just absolutely loving it next is my makeup and my makeup wipes my hair brushes and tools so that would be like my curling iron my straightener my round brush anything tool related that I need for my hair q-tips along with hand sanitizer and wet wipes and sun lotions sun lotions meaning sunscreen like for the body my tanning lotion all that kind of stuff right now actually I'll save what the weather is looking like for the next part of this video but now let's get into my electronics. So I need to bring my iPad and my charger. Normally I always bring my laptop to edit on the plane. However, I may not do that. I may just treat this like true vacation, not editing, not doing anything, but I haven't quite decided yet, but need my iPad and my charger to watch movies and shows on the plane. Next is my phone charging pad, which will charge my Apple watch that holds my magic band puck along with my phone and my AirPods. Next is a larger phone charger. The reason I like to bring a larger phone charger as well is because it'll charge my phone a lot faster. So if we go into the room for like an hour to two hours, I plug my phone into the speed charger and it just will charge it a lot faster 
than the charging pad does. Next I need my camera that I'm vlogging on right now, my camera batteries, and the camera battery charger. Next is my AirPods. I do bring both of my sets of AirPods. I bring my little ones for the pool or if I go, I say like if I go on a walk. We never do that where we're not having conversation, Corey and I, my fiance, but I always bring my big AirPods for the plane and my little AirPods for the pool or just to have like a little something if my ears start to bother me with the big headphones. Next is my Kindle and then my Kindle charger because I love to read when I'm on vacation or on the plane as well. My GoPro and all of its equipment for the water parks and water rides and pool swimming and all of that and then last like I said laptop and charger is a little bit of a question mark right now normally I am the first one to edit on the way there and edit on the way back but part of me with which is kind of what's been going on in our life recently we've just had a lot the last two months part of me thinks that I really truly want to disconnect and not start editing until we get back and I think that's going to be a boundary that I set for myself so laptop and charger maybe haven't decided if I'm not going to bring it yet but we'll see I'll think about it you never know Next, let's get into my extras. I like to kind of bucket these extras out because they're not toiletries, they're not clothing, they're not electronics, they're just extra things that I always bring with me to Disney or on vacation. So the first is medicine and band-aids. I always bring Advil, Tylenol, Tums, um, Dayquil, NyQuil, all that kind of stuff because emergency, there's nothing worse than being on vacation and not feeling 100%. I'm feeling a little bit congested right now. I got a little bit of like a scratchy throat stuffy nose earlier in the week and I just want to make sure that if that happens to me while I'm in Florida or Corey gets a little something that we are prepared with the medicine and the things that we need because you pay a lot of money to go to Disney and you don't want to be sick if you don't have to be. Next is my sunglasses and my jewelry specifically and then I do have these clear organizer pouches as well that can organize our park bags, our beach bags, just whatever have you. They're really small and compact. I can share them. I bought them on Amazon. I can have them linked down below. I like them because they're clear and I can see right through them and we also leave them in the room for the medication bag so if we need it it's just all in one place we never have to go searching for it and then liquid IV because I drink a liquid IV like every other day or every day if I'm feeling dehydrated I don't drink as much water in Florida because I do not like the taste of Florida water so we're always buying waters so I try to drink a liquid IV when I feel like my body really needs the electrolytes or if I'm having a stomach ache so I always like to be super duper hydrated when I can be our beach clips we use these to clip our towels onto the chairs at the pool and at Typhoon Lagoon so that we know which chairs are ours and then the towel doesn't actually fall down on the chair and then purses slash bags so like a nice purse for dinner two of my fanny packs one of my backpacks for us in the parks and whatnot so those are all the extras and then last but certainly not least we get into Disney now when I pack for Disney I think it is so monumentally important to break out what you need specifically for Disney versus just a general vacation and yes you know you're going to Disney but we have had time and time again where we forget one or two Disney specific items and it is just so frustrating because if you've been to Disney before there are just things that like you need for Disney and I never want to forget them so I always write them in their own little list so first is my Disney ears our reusable straws because Disney is like all paper so we like to have our reusable straws when we have drinks drinks or sodas or waters or what have you. Next is our magic bands along with our hooks, our carabiner hooks that hook the popcorn bucket onto the bag or my ears to my purse and what have you. Next is our water park mugs because we can just reactivate them and then our ponchos along with our rain jackets. Corey and I do prefer a rain jacket over a poncho but we bring our rain jackets because obviously we prefer them over a poncho but I bring the ponchos just in case it's a really rainy day and we want double rain coverage. Alright so if the angle and whatnot has changed it is because my camera battery literally just died and there is nothing worse than like being in the vlogging zone and then you see a little red blinking camera battery and you're like oh must you really like right when I'm in the zone but either way that was the end of my Disney packing list when it comes to electronics toiletries our Disney stuff and then any of my extras now let's get into how I do Disney outfit packing, Disney outfit planning. I don't really plan right from the rip. Like I don't plan elaborate Disney outfits. I normally am in an oversized Disney t-shirt, bike shorts, and my sneakers, or like a solid color t-shirt, jean shorts, or running shorts, and a sneaker, and my ears. I'm very casual. I don't go like super crazy in any of my Disney outfits. Think like very cool, monochromatic, cool girl, easy breezy Disney vibes. That's the way that I prefer to do my Disney outfits. However, 
when I am packing and starting to plan a little bit for my Disney outfits, this is how I do it. So I will go ahead and put this little notepad up on the screen as well. So the way that I will plan out my outfits is I write every single day out. So we have Saturday through the following Sunday because that is how long we're staying. I write what we're doing that day along with the weather and just like activities that we're doing so I know what kind of outfits I need. So for example, Saturday is our travel day. It's going to be 88 degrees and we are having a pool afternoon and a dinner at Disney springs so I know underneath that I need a pool outfit a relaxing at the resort outfit and a Disney Springs outfit right and so I do that from Saturday all the way down I make sure that I know exactly what I need right Sunday we're having breakfast we're going to the pool and it's our travel home day so I know the kind of outfits that I need and then tomorrow when we actually start packing my outfits I'll show you my sticky note method if you're new around here you'll learn how I pack with my sticky notes but this is just really easy for me it's how I pack it has been what I have found to be the easiest, most like conducive way to get my stuff packed and organized, I just find it like really great. It's easy, it's easy to organize. I never have to worry about anything which I love. So that is how I do my Disney outfit packing, Disney outfit planning. Like I said, right now I'll read you what our weather is supposed to be scheduled as. So right now Saturday is a high of, Saturday is 86, Sunday is 87, Monday is 78, Tuesday 66, Wednesday 71, Thursday 79, Friday 73, and Saturday 74. So the weather is a little bit, I don't want to say cold front because it's not a cold front at all, it's just not in like the high 80s and high 90s, which is okay for me because I actually don't mind a little bit of like a chillier, and I say chilly like it's cold it's not it's just like sweatshirt and shorts or long sleeve and shorts leggings and an oversized t-shirt and like a little jean jacket so I'm excited for a little bit of a different kind of weather trip we are staying at a really incredible resort that I am so excited specifically for the pool for we are staying at a new deluxe resort so comment down below if you want to take any guesses however I am really excited and hoping that we get a lot of good days in terms of like I'm hoping that some of those days can raise to like 81 82 so that we can can have time at the pool so that it's not really cold. I don't think I wouldn't swim in 75 degree weather. I do think that I would, but I think like some of those days might be a little cooler. So right now we do have our Disney schedule, but we're keeping it ever flexible. And Corey always reminds me that rain in Disney or 65 degree weather or 75 degree weather is always better in Disney versus being at home and he's very good about grounding me and centering me because when you're planning a Disney trip you want it to be perfect you want perfect weather perfect sun perfect this and it just like doesn't always happen and that's okay I'm so excited for our trip I'm ready and it's gonna be great so now what is next on the docket you may ask well it is at 5 30 like i said it's right after my work day on thursday and corey and i are gonna go to target because we do have a few things that we need to pick up so when i make my packing list what i'll do is go through my closet and kind of shop my closet to see what i have on all of those lists and what i need so i did a little bit of that today during my lunch break of just like seeing what i had what we needed what we don't have medicines that we need and whatnot so tonight we are gonna go to target you, me, and Corey, we're going to have a little date night at Target. The pre-Disney Target trip just hits different. We might get a few snacks as well. Sometimes Corey and I will get snacks. Sometimes we'll wait and do an Instacart order. But with that being said, I will see you guys when we are headed out to Target. We're going to have dinner first with my family, and then we are headed off to Target for the pre-Disney Target trip. Oh, my God, it's me. Corey's first appearance <laughs> in the Pack and Prep vlog. We just made it to Target. I made a little list. I don't have much on on it but I made just like a little list with a few things so you can read what's on it we have <clears throat> a loofah times two one for me one for you mouthwash yep flushable wipes I actually think essential. I have those essential essential but I think I have enough of those post-it notes for yes. oh for the everyday like doing my outfits thing. Yeah. yeah and then the other thing that I know that we do need is we need a few little things of medicine and I need some makeup wipes well, like but Tylenol? just like Tylenol emergency shout like I like to always oh sorry if that was are you guys can you see me better sorry target chaotic target is it working there we go um so we're gonna get a few things now was there anything that you needed 
that you could think of that you wanted to grab here? I mean, I was, I was actually laughing to myself. I was like, oh my God, I need like a travel size, like shampoo, conditioner, body wash. I was like, you're using the H2O products, Corey. Stop yeah, it. So as long it. as we have the face wash and face lotion, we're good. Yeah, so we're gonna get some stuff and then when we get home, I will make sure to do a haul of everything that we get at Target. So like I said, one thing I always recommend is we do not have any emergencies. I'm also feeling like a little bit under the weather, not 100%, so I'm gonna get just one of these because I just feel like we could use it. So I'm definitely gonna get this. And then we also always get like a little thing of Tums. I have some Tylenol at home too, but I just think it's so important that like when you are traveling, if you can get a few little, like, I don't want to say like medicated things, but if you're someone who, you know, needs Dramamine once in a while or Benadryl, like when you go on a trip, stock up on a few things. That way you always have medicine because I always like to have some medicine when we travel so that we just know we have it. We are home from Target. Gonna do a quick little Target haul and then we're gonna pick up the vlog tomorrow. I'm just taking off my shoes because i left them on when we came in Corey also was so sweet and we stopped at mcdonald's on the way home and he got me a cone of vanilla mcdonald's cone is like one of my favorite desserts and he was like oh do you want to stop and get a cone on the way home i was like yeah i want to stop and get a cone on the way home so our total was 62 dollars for everything in this bag i had a 10 dollars gift card so 52 that's another little kind of tip and trick that i would recommend if you around christmas time or your birthday or things you get little target gift cards Walmart gift cards, CVS gift cards, whatever it might be. Sometimes I like to save those for right before I go for a trip because it aids in some of the spending getting ready for the trip because I feel like people forget a lot about budgeting for this kind of stuff. Like when if we, if we didn't have a lot of travel stuff, right? It probably would have been even more expensive, but we're gonna Mary Poppins style, just gonna pull it out. So two loofahs, blue for Corey and a white one for me. And then I picked up a pack of these three pack Kleenex, just like tissue packets because they're like paper thin, really small, and I like that we can just throw these in the park bag or the backpack for the day with my nose and whatnot. Next, I got a pack of emergency for just like if we're sick, not feeling 100%, so got a nice pack of emergency. And next, I got two boxes of Band-Aids. I got, where's the other box? Did I get one box of Band-Aids? I definitely bought two boxes. Oh, here it is. I was like, where's the other box of Band-Aids? Two boxes of Band-Aids. I'm not sure if we have Band-Aids, and I was just kind of nervous. I was like, you know what? They're only $2 a box. I'll just get the two boxes. So we got the flexible fabric bandages. We got the one like regular size. Sorry, can you guys see that? It's a little blurry. Like the regular size bandages and then the big squares, like flex style bandages. Click back on my face. Perfect. Next, I got two makeup, oh no, one of the makeup remover towel wipes to like wipe off my makeup at night or right before we go to the pool. I have a small, like I have a big size of this that's almost empty. So I was like, you know what, I'll use that, bring it with me and finish it. And then I can open up the small travel size. And then also in the wipes category, I always like to bring a pack of wet wipes, just the gentle ones because of my eczema. I use these if I, we get like sticky ice cream that drips down or like strips something in our shorts or whatnot. Like I always like to have wet wipes wipe down a table right before lunch or dinner or whatnot and then the girlies that get it get it my cottonelle wipes can't travel without them i actually have a pack of cottonelle wipes in the i almost said in the fridge in the bathroom cabinet so i only needed one so i got one of those next on the list was post-it notes because i am out of post-it notes for my packing method for my outfits which i'll share tomorrow next we ended up getting two things of toothpaste we might need both i'm not sure i always okay i always forget really how much we need so i was like you know what they're 99 cents let's get two so we got the crest complete plus scope which is my favorite so we got that toothpaste and then i got three little listerine mouthwashes corey went to grab the big one and where i think technically we save more money and we get more mouthwash it's so much heavier and when we don't finish it we end up throwing it away and it's just too big that where if we didn't finish the big one we would want to lug it home so i'm like you know what let's make our life easy we normally go through about two and a half maybe we'll go through the third one but at least we have it for our trip and then I also got some extra polar mint gum. I like to have this in our park bag. And then because of my eczema, I'm having like a little bit of an eczema breakout here and on my like wrists here, a little bit on my eye. And just like sometimes I get it on my body. So because of that, normally I'll use the sea salt H2O body wash, but I got a little bit nervous. So instead I went for the Dove soap bar, 99 cents. I can use it every night while I'm there. And then my skin will be nice and like moisturized and nourished. I almost said nourished. I don't really know what I was trying to 
say there. And then I also got the Flamingo 5 blade razor cartridges because I am actually out of these so I needed them anyway. But this was now the best time because I always put a fresh razor head on before we go on vacation. And then last but not least, Corey got a box of these for himself because I have a box of my own. And because we normally, well like he likes to drink one every day or every other day, we would have gone through a box like really quickly so we ended up getting him another box. These are the Liquid IV Sugar Free Hydration Multiplier Electrolyte Drinks. And this is the green grape flavor because he wanted something a little sour. Corey's like a sour guy. So that is everything that we got at Target. I am looking forward to getting my outfits packed tomorrow. The weather is starting to feel and look beautiful. It's going to be quite literally the perfect weather trip. We're going to have a beautiful hybrid between hot warm days and like cool crisp days and it's still going to feel beautiful because coming from 36 degree weather going into 70 degree weather is going to be chef's kiss i'm so excited so that is the target haul and i love a little pre-trip target haul the serotonin of just like walking through the travel aisle and getting off your goodies so i'm gonna put all this back in this bag and then i will see you guys tomorrow i do need to do my everything shower in the morning so i plan to do that and then start packing up my toiletries first and then i'll save my outfits for the end so i love you guys so much i will see you first thing tomorrow morning to finish out the packing and prepping okay good morning everyone welcome to friday Friday, day two of the pack and prep with me so far today I have taken my everything shower I'm just letting my hair air dry right now because I think right before bed I will straighten it or I'll, maybe I'll slick it back in a bun for the day tomorrow but just wanted to do my full-blown it shower so I started my morning off with that and honestly it just felt so good to just feel clean clean as a whistle from head to toe that just felt amazing so i feel good clean ready to go nice and showered so that is one thing off the to-do list next is i did kind of pick up our bedroom it's going to become a chaotic dumpster fire once we actually start packing my outfits here in a little bit so Technically, I cleaned the bedroom and just like got a lot of things that needed to get put away put away However, I know that once I start actually packing that's probably not gonna be the case So I did that got that done this morning and then I also was opening up my iPad So I just bought a new iPad probably like three weeks ago I know you're probably like Brianna How did you buy an iPad and then not open it for three weeks? My last three weeks of my life have been chaotic and I really just did not feel like honestly opening it but I wanted to take it on our trip so I just got it like open and ready and I went to put the case on and I bought the wrong size case from Amazon so I had to rush order and deliver from the Apple store near us to have them deliver a case because I'm not traveling with an iPad without a case I can't even like stand it up so I'm like okay I need to order a case look to see if they had any at Target and they didn't so I had to order one through Apple and I just paid the nine dollars for it to get delivered to me because we just do not have time in the day to go to Apple and pick up the case because Corey's getting his hair cut. Then we have an appointment tonight for my nails and him to get a pedicure and it just does not fit to drive all the way over there and back for the way that the car needs to be here. We only have one car. I'm rambling for no reason, but the iPad is getting set up. My iPad pencil is charging and then I'm going to charge the iPad. The case should be here around, I think I just had the scheduled delivery between one and three. That way I can get it set up, scheduled and ready and like the case put on the iPad. So it is about 10.30, almost 11 o'clock. I woke up this morning at around 7.30, laid in bed till around 8, 8.15, took a nice 30 minute shower opened up my iPad, got that all situated, cleaned up my room, and just like got myself ready for a day full of packing. So what we are gonna do to start is, I have my, I'm reaching down here, but I have my laundry basket right here along with our Target haul from last night. However, if you've watched some of my other pack and prep, is, prep with me is, my favorite thing to do when it comes to Disney outfit packing, planning, especially in the colder months, like when I don't go to Disney in the summer when it's here, I like to shop my summer wardrobe. So I go upstairs and then I fill this laundry bin with all my bike shorts, sweat shorts, any of my summer bathing suits, gear that I want to bring on a Disney trip, I put it in this laundry bin so that I come downstairs and everything is in here. And then what I'll do is take out some of my Disney t-shirts, we'll get the weather all organized and set up and I have my post-it notes ready to go so I'm gonna go upstairs shop my summer clothes and then once I start getting some of my outfits on the bed I'll share with you a little bit of my process of how I'm getting my outfits ready and packed and prepped for Disney and like I said we're supposed to have range of weather from 89 to like 66 so I've got to pack pretty like universally like I'm gonna need a little bit of like weather not like weather gear but just like different weathery outfits so without further ado i'm going to stop rambling i need to go upstairs and get this 
bin or like this bin, this laundry basket full of all my summer stuff and then I'll share with you some of the outfits I'm getting ready to pack. Alrighty, hi everyone, quick little check-in. It is about 11, oh I didn't even check my phone but it's over there. I think it's like 11.45ish, like maybe closer to like 12. And we've made some good progress so far. Honestly, I have to say, this is probably the easiest that I have been able to pack more recently for Walt Disney World. And it's because the first two days of our trip are just really beautiful, 89 degree warm days. The rest of the trip is going to probably be a little bit more of I don't want to say an issue because I don't mean it in a negative way but I would say a challenge to pack for I've never packed for Disney in like lower 70s when it's in the 60s or maybe even like high 50s at night I normally get very chilly I'm cold-blooded so I'm just wondering if I need to be packing layers but I've got my list things are going really well and I'll turn my camera around we are also I'm watching our like old Disney vlogs because I love to do that when I pack I feel like it just gets me in the Disney mood so let me show you the bed I'll show you my sticky note method for the first two days that I have and then I'll also show you the chaos on the floor because this is how I pack I find it to be the most cathartic I want to make sure I leave no stone unturned so let me show you so first and foremost we've got clean organized super you know clean and crisp right all the things okay real life real life real life real life get you a girl that can do both a hot mess get clean and organized at the same time so if you're new to the channel this is my packing method where I take post-it notes and I write the day that I am going to be having the outfit and what the outfit is so I'll walk you through our travel day for example so we leave on Saturday which is tomorrow this is my travel day outfit and then on Saturday we have an explore outfit depending on if the room is ready and we want to just walk around get our mugs get lunch and we don't want to sweat we'll throw on some easy clothes and then right here I have Saturday pool outfit because we're going to be swimming. And then Saturday we have Disney Springs outfit because we're going to dinner. So I use these sticky notes. I never take the sticky notes with me. I normally remember the outfits that I'm thinking in my head. But I like the sticky note method so I don't actually... I don't know, I just feel like it helps me while I'm laying everything out on the bed. I don't just pack shorts. I like to pack in sort of an outfit so I know what I like. And then here, our next day is going to be Magic Kingdom. So Sunday, we have Magic Kingdom morning. Sunday, pool outfit because it's going to be so hot. So we're going to spend majority of the day at the pool. And then we have Magic Kingdom at night, closes at 11. So I do have two t-shirt options. Not sure which one I like better. And some cute little jean shorts. I prefer to wear jean shorts at night because it's normally A, not as hot and we're not in the park as long during the heated hours. So we'll probably go back to Magic Kingdom at like 6.30, grab a quick dinner and then do three to four hours of rides. But it's just nicer to have jean shorts at night versus during the day. I don't love doing denim shorts all the time during the day and with a cute t-shirt, I think it'll be cute. So this is what I've got so far. Here's the progress that we're making. This has been easy thus far, but the rest of the week weather is a little bit iffy. So that is where I'll probably struggle a little bit. But here is the reality of kind of how I I pack I shop that basket I brought down some new stuff I've got my Disney t-shirts out I started to pick out some of the shorts and shirts that I want to wear so this is all the stuff but I will let you know when I make more progress all right packing is going well also the hair is chaotic because that's how it is when we pack for Disney I'm in a little bit of a stuck situation and that is because right now it is scheduled to be set Wednesday 73, Thursday 80, Friday 73, but with a 65% chance of rain, and Saturday 77, but with a 55% chance of rain. So we might end up moving around some of our park days based on the weather, which would mean the outfits are going to be different. So I'm reaching that point in my packing where I'm going to pull away and just take like an hour little break. It is 12.25, so 12.30. I'm going to go heat up some lunch. Corey's coming back from his haircut right now. So. I've got a lot done like there's a lot on the bed and I'm happy because I feel like I've gotten everything really in a good spot minus the latter half of the trip that Thursday Friday and Saturday are getting me a little bit messed up just because I'm like Am I going to want a long sleeve in shorts in 75 degrees? Is it going to be t-shirt weather? Like, it's warm, but I'm normally someone that's cold, so I get a little bit in my head. So I'm my other packing tip, pull away, take a break. Walk away from your clothes, walk away from the outfits that you're creating, and go and do something different. So I'm going to go heat up some lunch now, and then we're actually going to pack my makeup bag and my toiletry bag, because that is going to be a really easy, lightweight thing to do to get all of that stuff done and organized, and then we'll come back to the outfits after that. Alright, so here we go. Here is all the outfits. We have Saturday here, and then, is this Monday or Sunday? What is this? Oh, Monday. Okay. So then we have Saturday here, we have Sunday, Sunday... 
Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday up there, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we've got everything all on the bed. And then here are two of the extra hats I'm bringing. I'm bringing my Mickey one and then my Trust Your Magic. I have this trucker hat in this beige color. And then I also have it in black over there. I can link it down below, not the Mickey one, but this one. It's from a small shop in Nashville, but they do have an online store. And then I always like to bring just a little bit of extra. So I am bringing two extra oversized tees, an extra pair of bike shorts, a pair of black athletic shorts, and an extra pair of gray sweatshorts. The reason why is because if we're gonna have some rain and I wanna just be a little bit more comfortable, I've got some comfy things to throw on here. And then underneath here, I've got my three little sets of PJs. And then I'm just deciding between either this like really pretty vibrant blue or my white new sweat set from Old Navy. So with that being said, let's get all of this organized. And before we even put it in the bags, I wanna show you guys this new organizer that I got on Amazon for my Mickey ears. All right, so like I said, I got a bag on Amazon on for my mini ears and my Mickey ears because I feel like every time I travel with them to Disney they don't have like an organized place to go and I just felt like sometimes they get smushed in my bag so I was like you know what I'm gonna invest in a little pouch or pocket thing that I can actually put them in now this is basically a stony clover dupe I think stony clover is so cute I love the prints I think they're fun but I just I, you, I cannot justify spending a hundred dollars on a little zipper pouch for my mini ears like I just I can't justify it I, it's a it's a waste of money for me but I do think that they're cute so if you have them good to you or if you've got them in like you know a good sale awesome but either way I can have this link down below from Amazon as well this was just the large pouch I think I just typed in like large black pouch or large stony clover dupe pouch so it's basically just a nice big pouch like this and I got it so that I could put my mini ears in it so that they would fit and they oh my gosh they fit literally perfect do you see them in there and the bag will zip and everything let's see how many I can fit I am bringing one two three four I think just four pairs let me see all right so I have a pair in here already so let's try to get the rest I'm gonna bring Four pairs because I do plan to buy a new pair on this trip. So we've got one pair that's already in here. Two, three, four ears. And then honestly, I'm also going to put my Mickey ears bucket hat in here so that the ears will be flat too. Let me just like shove it in there. All right, and there you have it. So I have one, two, three, four pairs of ears in here plus my Mickey bucket hat that I have half zipped. I definitely could probably fit five ears in here. You even could fit a little bit more on the top if you have extra little like, you know, maybe your new emos or like other little Disney accessories. I don't really have that, but this, this is a huge win. The other reason why I really wanted something like this is because I always just like leave my ears out on the top of the dresser and I just wanted it to feel a little bit more organized. So this was a great purchase. I think it was like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below, but we packed up my ears. Now let's pack up the rest of my clothes. I also normally really love to pack in packing cubes. So I'm going to go downstairs, get my packing cubes. We'll pack everything in the cubes and then we'll pack the luggage and we'll see what it weighs. because I wanted to share a quick tip before we get the packing cubes that are sitting here next to me into my suitcase. One thing that I used to not do that I have now started in the last like one to two trips I've taken is I take a blanket or a towel and I lay that down on my bed before I put the suitcase on my bed because I realized that my suitcase is just really icky. I have the ble bleach white, oh it's not bleach white anymore, but like the white away luggage and it is just so yucky and dirty that I do not like to bring like the germs and the dirt and all that nonsense onto my bedspread or like my comforter. So we're gonna lay this blanket up. We're gonna pack with these packing cubes. I already think that I'm gonna be overweight or at the capacity. I did not put in any of my bras, socks, underwear, or any of my beach cover-ups or my sweatshirts and little light jackets. So let's see what we've got going on so far in the packing cubes. Fingers crossed that maybe it will fit, but let's pack them up and see what happens. in 
good shape for packing so everything is I don't know if you can see it but down here is my luggage it's packed for the most part the only thing that is not in there is my underwear my shoes and some of my hats but like my ears are in there all of my clothing that kind of stuff is in here however it does feel a little bit heavy. I don't know if it's 50 pounds under more. The reason that I like to do this is I'm going to leave this now until probably later tonight after our nail appointment when Corey is done packing, seeing how much room Corey has in his suitcase, how much room we have in our carry-ons, and then what I'll do is re-go through. I took a fit, like a I was gonna say photo and picture, fixture. I took a photo of everything that was laid out on the bed so that I can say, okay, Brianna, what's a little bit excessive? I started counting some things, like for example, I have five pairs of bike shorts. I normally do not like to rewear my bike shorts, you know, day in and day out. However, the difference with this trip is it's actually not going to be super hot, so I'm not going to be as sweaty. So I think I could get away with rewearing them or washing them, like, you know what I mean? Like in the Disney, I could do laundry if I needed to. However, we don't like to do laundry on vacation, so I'm doing my best, but I also have a lot of other shorts. Normally we change twice a day, but this weather is a little bit different. So again, Disney packing tip, if you're watching this video and it's your first time going to Walt Disney World, please check your weather the three to four days leading up to it and the day before because weather can change in the blink of an eye. If I, on oh my phone, I think it's up there. I was gonna say, I bet you if I checked now, some of the days that are scheduled to be 66 are gonna be 74 or 71, or some days say rain and then now it doesn't say rain. So I just like to be extra prepared. So I do need to go through this case one more time. My last little Disney tip packing, even for any vacation, this is my overlay. So this is everything that's like loose stuff that does need to have a home. It just doesn't have a home right now. So in here is our Disney beach bag, my Disney beach hat, my pool sandals, our beach clips, and our suntan like SPF lotions. And then I have some sandals, more sandals, and then Corey's flip flops as well. As things don't get into a luggage or as I need bigger items, I basically fill this laundry basket and then we disperse it through our bags closer to the end. For for example, this needs to go in a checked bag because it's going to be over the fluid ounce weight. However, everything else in here can go in any bag, so it really doesn't matter. However, I feel really good about where we're at with my actual luggage right now. I also have this bag down here with all of my other clothes that I had brought from upstairs and just new clothes that I had thought about bringing. I leave it downstairs until... Basically, we come home from Disney just in case, let's say I am putting some outfits together and I realize that I want something different, I'll end up taking something out of there and swapping it over. But now it is time to do my cosmetic bag and my makeup bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pack my toiletry bag and my makeup bag and then I'll come back and sit on the ground and share with you everything that I'm bringing. My park makeup, normally what I wear in the parks, really lightweight. I don't love to do anything too crazy but we do have a photo shoot coming up on our trip as well which I'm excited for so I will bring a little bit of maybe my nicer makeup but let me go pack my cosmetic bag and like toiletry bag and my makeup bag and then I'll show you what I'm bringing. This is where we're at so far so let me share with you everything that's kind of up here. Here are our Disney ponchos. I have my makeup brushes in here my pack of makeup wipes that's almost out and then I have the other travel ones on the floor this is hair products so like my heat protectant my mousse my curling gel all that stuff in here is my little makeup bag we're gonna go through this together this is all of my hair stuff so scrunchies bobby pins hair ties little elastics all that is in here this is my towel that I use when I get out of the shower we always pack a little lint roller so I have that here this is our medicine bag. Like I said, we use these little clear organizers that I got on Amazon. And I just pack more like medicine-y stuff in here. Like we have Tums, uh, cough drops, tissues, Tylenol, some wet wipes, flushable wipes, all that kind of more like medical stuff. And then this is my actual big toiletry bag. These are going to come out and go in my like personal little purse. But all of this is my face and like toiletry stuff. So let's go through the makeup bag. All right, so let's go through the Walt Disney World makeup bag. This is everything that I am bringing to Walt Disney World for makeup what I put on my face. In here is just a few little like lipsticks and lip glosses. I got this in one of my Dagny Dover bags so I just use it for that. But let's go through all of my makeup in here. Now 
I do have a few like kind of extra things. I'll go in order of the way that I put it on and whatnot, and then I'll just repack the bag. So I'll just empty it so I can share it with you guys. Now, the likelihood of me using all of this is pretty slim, but I like to have it. And because we're doing a nice little photo shoot while we're there with a photographer on our resort, like at our resort to just like have some really nice photos, I wanted to bring some of my, I don't want to say special makeup, but makeup that I probably normally wouldn't bring. Let's go through it. First and foremost, I have four face products. This is like literally what takes up the most room however these are like my four tried and true products the first is the circa clearing bb cream from purito i love this it is so light on my skin it gives me really beautiful coverage in the parks and i never feel like i have makeup on next is the la roche posay 50 tinted spf sunscreen so this is a nice tint to it i love this i normally wear that in the parks i also have the tower 28 sunny days tinted sunscreen this is a little bit more like actual coverage on the skin so I wanted to bring that and then as just a nice little extra foundation if we have a nice dinner or I want to get a little bit more glam I always bring a travel size of the Giorgio Armani luminous silk this is my tried and true foundation and then next for concealer I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and just a little travel size. I like to buy some travel size makeup because I feel like because I do travel a lot, sometimes having to lug a lot of my bigger products, it's nice to have a smaller size. And then next is the Tower 28 Serum Concealer in the shade IE. So I brought this full, big full size one. I haven't used this yet, but I'm excited and I specifically bought it to use on this trip. Next we go in with setting powder because let me tell you, sometimes that heat and that sun, you need some setting powder. So I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Again, just a little travel size one because I don't use that much of it and then oh an additional face product that I only use once in a while not all the time is the say glowy super gel in the shade star glow I've used it a few times I like it sometimes I'll bring my Hollywood flawless filter for a little bit of glow but because it's such a big bottle I normally prefer to bring one of these little say ones now on to bronzer and blush so I always bring one cream and one powder this time I'm bringing two creams but I always bring my dibs duo stick this bronzer is literally at the bottom this is my third one that I have bought so once I finish up on this trip this will end up just hitting the trash but I bring my dibs duo stick for bronzer and blush and then I'm gonna bring my Merit Beauty flush balm in the shade Beverly Hills so this is a nice little blush and then I always bring a powder br blush to top over it so I'm gonna bring my NARS little travel size blush and then for bronzer I'm bringing the hourglass ambient bronzer I use this for eyeshadow too so it like does as a little double now I don't always wear all this into the parks normally I'll just wear like a tinted sunscreen or a little bit of the Purito BB cream a little bit of concealer cream bronzer cream blush a little bit of powder to set it some eyebrow gel mascara call it a day but sometimes I like to have some extra things just in case and then I always bring my Anastasia clear Beverly Hills brow gel and then my mascara cocktail which is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara and the Lancome Idol Lash. So I always bring both of those and then a beauty sponge as well. My makeup brushes are up there. And then I have the Summer Fridays Lip Oil in the shade Blush Dreams. I just got this. I feel like it's just nice to have in my bag so I can have a little bit of color on my lips. And then I have some of my other Summer Fridays and then one nicer lipstick in there for when we have some dinner. So that is my makeup bag. That is what we've got going on so far. I'm making really good progress. We have to leave for our, like I'm getting my nails done and Corey's getting a pedicure. We have to leave in the next 20 minutes minutes so what I think I'm gonna do now is start to get some of my Disney stuff organized here's the only problem I love getting my nails done and Corey loves to get a pedicure we love to get it done the day before it's like puts us into vacation mode like when we get our nails done or when I get my nails done and he gets a pedicure but then I feel like I'm cutting things pretty close like I wish that I could just keep packing for the next three hours but I can't I have to stop in a half hour so with that being said, I'm going to get back to it, and then I will show you guys once we leave the nail salon what color I decided to do on my nails, and then we'll come back, finish up packing. Corey hasn't even started packing yet, so he'll be packing, but he's, like, such a fast packer. I don't know what it is about him, but he, like, moves in grooves, so we will get him all packed up and prepped and ready, and then we'll do some last-minute things, and that'll be the end of the vlog. All right, vlogging on my phone because I didn't bring my camera, but we just finished up at this. It's going to be, like, all bouncy because we're driving, but we just finished 
finished up at the nail salon. I got my nails done. If anyone is curious of the color, this is more of like an off-white pinkish color and it is number 217 New Genesis Sweetie Pie, my, sure. my favorite color. Corey got a pedicure. That was so relaxing. You haven't gotten one in a while. Oh, I love a pedicure. Yeah, Corey loves to get a pedicure before vacation or like every other month because he goes to the gym all the time and like his feet are in his gym Guys, shoes. don't be embarrassed to get pedicures because no, your feet are, are gross. nasty. Yeah, like clean your feet. So now we are headed back to the house. We're going to do a quick dinner and then Corey needs to get himself packed. So we're going to spend the rest of the evening packing his stuff and then getting a lot of our last little incidentals done. I also still need to weigh my suitcase and we need to pack all of our shoes. For a hot second, I thought you were about to say I need to weigh myself and I was like, why? why? Yeah, no. So we are on our way home now, but just wanted to do a check-in, got our nails done. It is 6.30 and my goal is to be in bed by 10, like tucked in and ready to KO and snooze. So fingers crossed we can do it. It's, uh, we've got, basically I want to consider ourselves, we're starting to pack again at 7.30 because within the next hour we're going to drive home. We need to stop at the ATM and eat. So let's get to it and we'll check in when we are finished eating and getting Corey packed. All right, we are back from the nail salon. Corey just finished up his own packing and we just finished up my packing. I went through my luggage. I took probably like 10 things out of it. I always do that. I always like to do just like a once over right before I'm ready to zip it because I just feel like I don't always need all that stuff. My luggage is 44 pounds. Corey's is right at 50, which is like perfect because it means that we definitely have a little bit of space to bring stuff back. So that's a win. But I wanted to share with you now what we are bringing in our carry-ons and then our backpacks and then probably just like my personal crossbody bagu bag because I always like to have my phone and my camera just a little bit more easy accessible. And then right before we get on the plane, I just throw the bagu bag right in my backpack. But one tip that I have, especially when it's going to Disney, you never know when your room is going to be ready. So something that Corey and I have been doing recently is we take out our bathing suit and beach cover up so that we can, right before like we give our bags to Bell Services, we have our bathing suit so that when we're ready, we can go to the pool and relax and hang out and chill and we don't have to wait around in like our travel stuff because normally, like tomorrow I'm traveling in a sweatshirt and sweatpants because it's gonna be cold here and normally I'm cold on the airplane. Corey's not, but I am. So let me show you what I'm packing in our carry-ons. Alrighty, here's everything that is going in my carry-on, which is this slash everything that's gonna go in that backpack. I always put my electronics in here. So like for example, right now we have Corey's iPad, my in-flight bag which has my kindle and then my ipad and then both of our headphones will go in here but let me share with you what i'm going to put in my carry-on so like i said i've got a beach cover-up and a bathing suit a pair of shorts and a tank top to walk around the resort in once we get there before we swim if our room is not ready and then i have my like dingy plastic beach sandals this is all of our electronics and cords this will go in my backpack this is all of our medicine wet wipes all that kind of stuff in here that goes in the carry-on my two pairs of sneakers along with three of my hats. I honestly probably could wear one on my head tomorrow. My cute little Mickey bag charm, my pins for pin trading, my sunglasses for when we arrive, and then my toiletry bag and my jewelry. So everything that's like valuable or just like the little itty bitty things like my jewelry for example, I like to have all that stuff in my carry-on. This stuff will go in my backpack probably because I'll just wrap it up so that we can pull it out quickly. And then we've got Corey's bathing suit, some extra tissues, and then also I always bring Bring our park bag as well so we're gonna get this packed up and then we will be ready to go to Disney all right we are ending off the vlog on the phone because my SD card is currently in my computer getting wiped so that it is free and clear and ready for tomorrow and I also just had a problem with my hard drive so <laughs> that is all getting sorted out so I was like you know what we're just gonna use the phone I'm not gonna worry about it but are you excited for tomorrow? I am insanely excited for tomorrow. I'm yes. so excited. It just like doesn't feel super real yet. You know? It feels real to it me. It feels real to you. It I feel like I just need to tomorrow I've been be tomorrow. A vacation. Yeah, for so bad. I know. So our flight boards tomorrow at seven. I told my mom that we can leave here at like five fifteen. You think that's fine? Like an hour and a half. Yeah, and we have TSA pre check. With yeah, them. I feel like we should be a hundred percent fine. Mm -hmm. And we're not worried about like coffees breakfast like whatever we can grab we can grab it's also yeah. really early in the morning so i don't anticipate a lot of people but 
With that being said, welcome to one of the first videos in the Disney series. So, if you're new, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of the upcoming Disney vlogs. But with that said, good night. We will see you tomorrow when we are headed to Walt Disney World. Yeah.